sacrifice. <laughs> What's up gamers, Gamer Extract here, and a lot of you have been confused with how I've done mod tutorials lately. Um, you guys have asked questions as of like, um, hey my SD card isn't working, or SD mount source failed, or something like that. And I don't exactly know what the problem is, but I decided I'm going to go step by step with you guys to put the, the files in your SD card in a brand new one. So I have my SD card here from my uh, camera and I don't need what's in here because I've already actually posted the video. It was me cleaning that Hulk disc. So I'm actually going to show you how to um, format it properly and I'm going to show you how to <clears throat> um, put everything in your SD card properly. And I'm going to show you guys how to get some of the uh, files onto your SD card after you put on some of the files. So I'm going to show you how to get like more files than what I've already provided. So what you're going to do is click Format, and you're going to it's that set the FAT right now. You're going to want to do the FAT32. Um, I heard that you don't really need to change this, so I'm not going to. I haven't. And this has worked for me, but I did read online that if it doesn't work for you, try unchecking the quick format. But I never had that problem, so I'm going to do the quick format. Alright, now, now my SD card has been formatted. So now I, I have a completely clean SD card drive and I have the SD card files that I did provide um, which I will provide again in the description below but the SD card files from my HackG and my Smash Brothers video that's going to be here so I'm just going to move the SD card file actually the SD card files on my desktop so I'm going to go here uh, and now here we go copy all of this inside the file drag it onto your USB drive and I I'm going to skip through this because this is going to take a little bit but when this is done we're going to switch over to the Wii U and I'm going to show you guys how to put stuff on your SD card through the Wii U. Alright, quick mention um, before this is all done. You're going to want to um, eject. Because if you just pull out your SD card, it could potentially damage the SD card itself. So you're going to want to eject. Now after all those files are programmed into your SD card, this is what it should look like. This is exactly what I provided. Nothing more, nothing less. And what you're going to want to do is go to the HB App Store, which is the Homebrew App Store. Which, which is going to help you get all those files that you need. Continue where to begin. And if you want to just get um, stuff, um, just go to all apps. It's easier to find. And now you can now you can find these are all your apps that you have. I actually went to the wrong thing, but these, this is everything you have. And that's That looks a little more normal. Yeah, so last time I did not have any um, um, internet. I forgot to connect to my new router. But yeah, this is how you get your apps. So if any, say any of the apps I provided don't work, um, get this homebrew. Make sure you find a way to get um, the homebrew app store. And then you can update 
update these things as you want. Uh, you can actually get the homebrew app store in here for some reason. But, and if HackSG doesn't work, you can download it here. Um, if you want to get the homebrew launcher to the channel, to have like an actual channel, you can get it from here. Or you can get some emulators, which help. Which help with like wanting to record things. Or, and if you want to get a homebrew um, channel like I did, um, I'm not sure how well um, this this one works. Because I've never used this, but I use the WUP installer GX2, which I will actually update. And now that it's now changed to installed instead of update. And you can also delete these or reinstall them if you want. Say like you don't want the WUP installer or the Lodine GX2, which I don't see why you wouldn't. It's useful to have. But if you want to download something, just press get, which I'm not going to do because I don't need it. That's all you got to do is click get. And there's plenty of other things here. Like there's literally a page just for emulators. And some of them are named weird, but once you click on them, it'll actually tell you what it emulates. Like, the Super Graphics, that's what it just emulates. Um, Pokey Mini, uh, Handheld Simulator, I'm not sure what that is. Um, apparently this is a Doom engine you can download too. But yeah, this is pretty much what the homebrew can do and everything that I just did um, on my SD card over on my PC is everything you need to do that was a completely fresh SD card and also make sure um, on the side of your SD card um, if there's a uh, um, right copy or uh, copyright or a right copy whatever whatever it is make sure that is not locked because that is very important. It won't let you read your SD card. But yep, that's all you. It's pretty much everything that you really need to know about uh, for the basics of modding. Um, like I said, it, the SD card file I included in the description will include all of these files right now. And if you want to get any more all of the any more files, just go to the Homebrew App Store. And you can get pretty much all of these things. And anything you don't want, anything you, you, that this does not provide, um, I'm pretty sure you can look up how to do it yourself. Or maybe I'll make another video in the future. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Quick uh, update, real quick. I just want to let you know that when you do exit out of your homebrew, it will take you to the me channel. That is normal. A lot, of, a couple of people have been asking about that. And yes, that is normal. Um, all right, that's it. Goodbye. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to save on gaming and tech stuff, use the coupon code GamerExtract for twenty percent off. Details in the description below.